Hi guys, hope everything's all right. We're in Casablanca at the moment. Well, we drove in, a bit of a mental drive in, everybody everywhere, crossing roads, a bit mental. We're just at this lighthouse at the moment because uh, we wanted to check out, what was it? Uh, the big mosque. The big mosque, but they uh, we wanted to park up, but they don't, don't accept dogs even in the car, so. We, we gave that a miss. <laughs> we drive onto the lighthouse where we're currently at, watching well, yeah. the, uh, the sea. Right next to the sea. Uh, so we right next to this light, lighthouse in Casablanca. I'll show you a few of the shots of the uh, the sea and stuff. There we go. Oh, you can see my hand in the shot. <laughs> Then they've got the loudspeakers going off in the background. Yeah, it's time to go to prayer. Time to go to prayer. Anyway, we're going to set up camp a bit further along, aren't we? At this, yeah. At this remote place. Next to a castle, apparently. Next so. to a castle, so we're going to give that a shot and see what that's like. Um, good. Well, we've learned today again that people are very scared of dogs. Well, it's not a bad thing, but we did get attacked by a few cats, funny <laughs> enough. Uh, I was slapping it with a slipper, um, but it wouldn't bugger off. And then you had Peach in your hands. Yeah, it was attacking Peach. And everybody were, everybody were looking at us. I was slapping this cat with my shoe and kicking it. It won't go, but it did have kittens about. You say kicking it, you, yeah, yeah. you were trying to get it away from Get us. it away anyway, but it kept coming back for more. Yeah, it was, a, it was feisty and the locals were absolutely wetting themselves laughing with me yeah. carrying Peach. Yeah, yeah. Who won't defend herself. No, she, no, she pussied out a bit there, didn't she? Yeah. But uh, yeah, if you come into Morocco, bring a dog because they won't come close. We did have one miss up with, though with someone who got in the way of you. Yeah, he just kept walking in front of me trying to get me to I stop. Was in, I, was in, I was in front, so I, I didn't see it in the first, but he was in... Yeah. Getting in, walking in front of you, like yeah. being funny, and then I turned round and then he packed up. Yeah, he did. But, but apart from that, everybody else has been yeah. lovely. Um, we had a really, really nice lunch. Um, yeah, it was really a nice. nice restaurant. That. Really nice. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's nice been okay day. actually. Today, the, the weather's, weather's nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not too hot, but it's not too cold. What's it now? Probably 22 degrees. Still. 22 degrees at the moment. Oh, yeah, and we got lost. Yeah, we did get lost. We well, that's lost. because Madam didn't put the phone on my phone on charge. What's well, got the SIM card in it? So we spent about an hour looking for. The yeah, car. spent an hour looking for the car. So make sure you pinpoint your your car. Because <laughs> that that was a bit worrying it for a bit. No, it wasn't. Nah, not really. We, we stopped had... in a cafe and we got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, from the cafe and that was that we found it, didn't we? Yeah, so. yeah. So that was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. No. Right, I'll leave you with a leave you for now, and we uh, see you later on when we start setting up camp. Catch you later. Right guys, so here we are, third day in. Um, everybody said, don't drive at night. So what was my idea? Go camp out in the mountains. Um, which we didn't realize that we're two hours away from Casablanca. So yeah, um, we're 10 kilometers away now and this is, this is what we've got.
mode. Or is it recording? Look at the scooter coming down with no light on. Oh, that's deadly. Oh, look at this geezer, what's he on? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. So, my idea to go off <laughs> and come mountains. Yeah, and they say don't drive at night. <laughs> Shocking. I'm slightly regretting it. It's it's like something out of a horror scene. It's really eerie. You don't see many people and it's it's just so open and empty. It feels like like if you've ever seen like Wolf Creek or you know those sort of movies. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna happen here. Oh, that feels like that's gonna come off. I swear, this thing in front of us, it's, it's going all over the place. It's rocking backwards and forwards. And half of the vehicles are driving with no lights on. Like nothing, and it's dark. I mean, it looks lighter on the camera than it is in reality. It's, it's scary. The haystack on that is bigger than the entire lorry times two. I'm surprised it's making it up this hill to be fair. Yeah, but it's hay in it, it's not heavy, it's more voluminous in it. Well, what was the word? Volume, more volume. <laughs> It's either all or nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I might need to get past this bus. Because I've got the cars well, on not the here, not on this car, Lee. You can't. Well, the good thing to know is that there's a petrol station out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. No fridge. Well, petrol station's closed. You just have like a great big leg of beef hanging up. No fridge. Nothing. Billy Land. <laughs> oh no! I thought we were going to lose him then. Nope. Oh, we got car boot. My shops. My meat shops. Yeah. 
23 minutes by the time we get to destination. Nothing on the bag. Two of them as well. 